time with the early pink ward. That was two camps that were stolen away. He also smited the wolf, so you get to leave that wolf spirit there, and they saw him again. Yeah. Now the vision though. just slingshotted back a little bit. Banky cleared the pink ward. Ambition got spotted out. Oh, damage down. Crown's throwing out the poison with those twin fangs. Good shield from Faker. He gets away Take with it. Right well, jungler's now going to be. Meeting toe to toe, level Check. seven advantage for Ambition. Gets a ward down. Lamb's respite is available. Tidal wave catches both of Samsung Galaxy's bottom lane. Ambition with the Lamb's respite. It's first blood to Ambition. Body block on the first two shots from Wister. The third and the fourth oh, gets nobody. Beautiful. Now fake is the target. Gets caught up by the red buff. Slowed down. Crown looking for. A target, they may want to go they for a die. Crowd's full health with both summoner spells up. All summoner spells are up for SKT though. They're closing in, trying to push the minion wave first, and there goes the counter attack from Rise. The realm warp not going to be enough to they close the range, but the flash does. Now, Faker and Wolf, they're in enemy territory, going to back away. The threat alone means no further engage. It's a one for one trade. What? What an impressive counter right there. They know the only way out is forward. They charge Core JJ and do grab the kill. But still, this game, the early game has been going so heavily in favor of Samsung, and they retain that lead. Oh, great stun from QV. Hop away from Duke. Means that there's no kill yet. Actually, Duke's gonna Mega Gnar out. Crown's decided to pick a fight. Exhaust is already used. Miasma's put on the floor, and Crown. Wow. Lenses away. Four no kill summoner yet. summoner spells He burned burn. every summoner as well as knocking the back. And just to rewind a little bit, there was so much awesome that happened in that fight. Ambition getting Al Yuki Ambition wants Faker. to make his long-awaited chance at Worlds count. They yeah. want to dive Cuban. So does Faker, though. You're in the last trade, Duke Meganaut out, Force Cuban's flash. This should be an easy, and easy no dive. Ultimate. Here uh -oh. comes Ambition as well. Knocked against the wall. Faker is gifted a kill. And they just made that look easy. And we talk about the ebb and flow of the map. Incredibly They're important gank, and the ebb and flow Kobe was talking about, it was a little bit enabled by Crown staying bottom lane to burn the four summoner spells. Now they're trying to get it back. Those what? four summoner spells are down. Here comes a cannon with an ultimate. Cheeky play there over the back of the dragon pit. Pink ward, so they know there's nobody to see them. Bang and Wolf have no summoner spells. The teleport's coming down. It's a party. It Five will be a mega Slicing Maelstrom stuns SK Telecom. Duke Meganar's out. They've joined oh. the one for one. Ambition doesn't get the respite down. Faker realm warps in, gets the reply kill. It ends up being a two for two. SKT can equalize plays that no other team can equalize right there. It looked like a five-man party for Samsung, and it's just a two-for-two. Two. Absolutely insane. Faker crashes the party as another kill to Not the list. going to challenge Ambition, though, and still just making his way. No flash up in the top lane, no slicing Maelstrom either. I think this would be risky if they tried to dive it, but they could. Look at all the information that SKT is working with, though. You know, as much as... Uh, we talked about the play being oh, set up nice here. Game. Kicked into the wall, and that just looks so, once again, so easy, so well executed. And they know they can cleanly go for that 2v2. Ace in the hole's available for Ruler. Oh, 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 the, oh. the exhaust, the flash, the heal. Ruler's face palming. He's flashed forward aggressively multiple times. This time it hurts him. SKT making informed decisions. They have wards seeing every member of Samsung, where Samsung Why invade. nothing. Ambition, can he get the lamb's respite? Yes, but it won't be enough to get the kill just yet. Jumps back away, dance of arrows, and the three-man SKT, they shut him down. And that's the poise of SKT. When they can get this Rift Herald after that kill on Ambition, that takes away Cubey's ability to split push. Also, you're going to be more poised when you know where the enemy is. Look at the wards by SKT. That is also going to be a Rift Herald buff for Duke in the split pushing battle. Kennen, yes, is going to be great for those team fights trying to flank in, but uh oh. Core cool. JJ taking fire. Aqua Prison One locks more. up Core JJ and whispers fourth shot. Bang! You're down. That's three solo deaths in a row by this is, Samsung. Again, another game where you're seeing the mechanical outplays every single oh, no. member. Level 11, 12 rather on Faker. Cube. Round Warp comes in. cube has got Slicing Maelstrom and Flash. Got no minions under the tower. Got an approach about forward. Duke takes a turret shot. Flash forward for oh, Cube. Looking oh. for the lightning shuriken. Shut down Duke with the boomerang. It's incredible the speed at which SKT make their calls as soon as the information comes in. They say, oh my goodness, Ambition, Crown, they're invading our jungle bottom side. Faker, 
What does he do? Immediately moves top to go make the play with his ultimate on rise. They camp that side. They're gonna get the first turret on top of it. And SKT so willing to play around Duke this game. He was picked into a bad matchup. Samsung saved their last pick for Cube. But that's about all. Hold it. If you look at the mini map, full pressure. Oh no. Ula's gonna flash away from the tidal wave. Poor JJ's already used his flash. He gets shut down by Bang. Multiple targets like have to lock people in place because there is no tank for this team until Cuvee is able to you know, get his Zonias and buy some time that way. It's all about Ambition's ultimate, which has been down. Yeah, I'm not available. Look at that. Yeah, and it would also require them to be able to set up at all. But SKT has been so far ahead of the pace of this game. Ever since it was close at the beginning, SKT just pick after pick. They kill Ambition, and now Duke about to hit Meganar to try and zone him off the turret. Yeah, Cuvee potentially could turn around the engage with that Maelstrom. The tower doesn't fall in the mid lane, though. All the pressure from Duke is allowing the rest of SKT to set up. Deadly flourish from Bang. It's just relentless pressure, and Bang, he's behind core. Yeah, core JJ's in so much trouble. The tidal wave will hold him in place. Exhaust buys enough time for him to flash to safety, but the tower goes down. Faker's realm warped in, looking for Ruler. Lamps oh. for Spike will buy some time. Faker's caught in a trap, takes a lot of damage for his troubles. And Lambs Respy saves Ruler's life, plus the Summoner Heal. Once again, Summoner Spell's blown, towers falling in multiple lanes. And SK Telecom, in SKT fashion, taking control of Game 2 more confidently than Game 1. Yeah, and you think about the way Samsung would want to try and get back in this game, it would be a flank teleport from the cannon. But the amount of map pressure that Samsung has is so low that Wolf is almost always going to have his exhaust for the cannon, and the forward targets like Duke are always at full health in the split push game, so more controlling action in game one. They've got the exhaust, plus they have the Lee Sin kick from Bangy, who can utilize that way, you know, or utilize to push people off of the Kindred Ultimate if they need to, you know, chase down Samsung into their own territory. But once again, it's the same story we... Their turtle mode with uh, Caitlyn here as the Baron being taken. There's not really any any counterplay here from Samsung. It's a completely dark, dark map. They would have to do some crazy uh, move to even go get, and it would probably cost them a lot of their lives. So yeah. defensive play is, again, the name of the game. Yeah, and this is immaculate play by SKT after the early game where Samsung looked like they were trying to snowball. As soon as SKT halted that, they've been turning it right back around. And here's a Realm Warp. All right, Realm Warp's going to deliver Faker and Duke. This should be enough just for the tower once this minion lane, minion wave comes back up. Cuvee with the Proto Belt got away. And, and, you know, to go back to that point, SKT way up in farm against Ambition. In this game, he's equalizing the farm of the Kindred in the late game and getting picks like this. Oh, the oh. fourth shot misses, but Bangy doesn't care. He jumps in. Oh, while we were looking at that top lane, Faker had a three-level advantage over Crown. Crown was just equalized. It's now 17-15. But look how easy it is for SKT to just push this. It's, it's 10,000 gold before 30 minutes. Yeah, and they make it look easy because yeah. obviously this isn't easy. Otherwise, every team would do it. They have so much <laughs> control with the wards in this game, and they're always all on the exact same page when they're going to make these plays quick shot. That's what's so impressive. That's so unfortunate for Samsung Galaxy in their final for the first time with this roster. Not even really able to advance through the LCK playoffs, but they ran the gauntlet. The fairy tale story and the amount of pressure for these guys that they put on themselves. Unfortunately, they faulted. Three solo deaths uh, is what allowed SKT to just start the snowball. Definitely can be very uh, happy with their run here at Worlds, though, and they are getting you know, that experience on Ruler and the big stage, getting some of those nerves out as far as the play. And especially Crown has, has really For shown One up. and a half games in the world. Well, that's a dead ambition once oh, again. Oh dear. Now Bang is going to be the target. The Esma, Tidal Wave, Cube can't find anybody more. Slice of Maelstrom is down, and all of a sudden, Duke turns the pressure around. Bang, bang, unstoppable as Cube is shut down. Duke. Gonna be able to Mega Nar out not too long. Hops forward, looking for more. Oh. Poor JJ, kicked against the wall, locked against the wall. Duke Nars crown, petrifying gaze, not gonna be enough. And Duke will get popped, but just the GA. Round walk from Faker will allow him to get a double kill onto Ruler at 30 minutes into the game. SKT. They still have to run back out and kill an inhibitor tower. <laughs> you can't help but just applaud SKT for that play because you call them a slower, methodical team, but when they have the advantage, they do know how to take it. Ace 
inside the base without clearing out the inhibitor turrets. They managed to get everyone in there and they might push for the win here. Ambition left alone under the Nexus turrets against all of SKT's Rune Prison down. This time, gets the respite out, but it won't be enough. Oh. Q-Face caught out, sent back to the fountain. The Samsung Galaxy, they cannot defend their Nexus. SK Telecom jumping forward for more. Core JJ on the steps of the fountain is killed by the God Faker himself. And SKT are 2-0 in the finals. And that's the type of defeat you don't want to have if you're Samsung, because this is the momentum building of SKT's War Machine, as they are now one game away from their...